here's a piece of me to chew on. One of the things that you know we've, we've been asked to, to talk about is drugs. Uh, it seems to be a, a big deal on people's minds. Uh, some people are very, very frightened of drugs and some are very fascinated by drugs. I've always been very, very open about, about that I'm positive towards some drugs. But what are drugs? What, what is it even? We live in a society that is entirely filled, jam-packed with drug use. Um, we live in a, a world, a society, a, a conceptual belief that, that you have to achieve. That achievement is like the, the, the main goal of all of our existence. I, I personally don't believe that. I, I believe existence is the actual whole point of anything. It's just existence. We don't, we don't have any higher purpose. I, I simply don't believe it. Um, now, what are the drugs that, that, that in, you know, inure this, this whole society? Well, we look at it. We have, we have all these drugs. We have TV. And TV is this, this whole idea of, of receiving a, a pre-packaged format of, of a, a narrative that someone else has presented for you. So you don't have to think for yourself. They think for you. That's a drug. That's a that's a that's the same thing as taking an example, taking morphine. Morphine will will you take the morphine, it goes into your body and it tells the system that you don't feel what you feel. Now that's TV. That's the same thing. We have sex. People use sex as a drug. They they will they will you know bring up their their own sexuality and their sexual emotions and they will they'll fetishize and they will objectify and and create this emotional response within themselves from obsession uh, and that's a drug because we're we're actually through the use of our minds we're we're affecting the body chemistry so that's a drug so we have tv we have sex uh, sports sports is a drug we have this idea of achievement that goes through all of our society. <clears throat> we have all these sports that are truly just, you know, symbolic reenactments of, of achievement. And we gather, you know, in these huge groups and we, we, we watch people enact these sports. We don't do them ourselves. We watch someone else do them at, at, on, a, on a superhuman level that, that most people don't even believe that they ever have the possibility to to do you know but anyone can do that you know anyone uh, it's all about kind of the attitude that which you lay into it but the way that we do it we do it to get away from our lives we do it to get away from something so it's a drug uh, it shouldn't be it should just it's just physical motion it's just play it's enjoyment just like sex sex is just play and enjoyment it shouldn't be a drug it shouldn't be taking us away from reality <clears throat> tv tv is just a, an empty vessel it can be filled with anything uh, and <clears throat> even wars war is a drug uh, it's it's a way to take us away from the financial problematics and the realities that that is that there are large groups of people who are in pain who are who are being neglected who are you know who are being pushed out of society in some way or another so we create these great spectacles that we call them wars and it's a, just a, just another drug so what is drugs you know we have these, these perceptions and ideas of, of what drugs are okay. We have, we have this idea that if you go to a doctor and the doctor tells you, well, you, you have pain in your leg, so I'm going to give you this pill. Um, but only on my conditions. And in some countries, it's, it's even harsher. In, uh, we, you know, this pot is recorded in Sweden. And in Sweden, it's so extreme to the point where if a doctor... Uh, will actually describe too much of, a, of, of one specific drug or another, he may lose his right to be a doctor because it, and it's, it's only because of politicians, you know. Some, someone has, has taken the power upon themselves to define and to limit 
the amount of uh, pain that another person is supposed to perceive. Uh, so that, that, to me, that just looks insane. Uh, but it is, you know, it, that's, that's how society, we, we build that on, on mostly on, on nonsense, really. <laughs> so, so what are the drugs that, that, you know, that are kind of mystified and romanticized? Uh, we have a lot of drugs that are romanticized and mystified. Uh, and we have a lot of drugs that are very much so uh, kind of shied away from in society. At the moment, there's, 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 there's a very you know, big you know, international movement around cannabis. Um, and to me, that's, that's, that's one of the, the drugs that I don't think it is a drug, personally. I think it, it's just like coffee or, or you know, wheatgrass. It's just another, it contains natural things that affect us. Uh, they don't affect us that much, not as much as the, the synthetic uh, drugs. It doesn't hurt us, it doesn't make us, um, it doesn't make us addicted physically in that way. If, you know, if you've been, say if you've been smoking marijuana, cannabis, every day for say four or five years, every day, say four or five times a day, uh, and you decide to stop, just like, like that if you decide to stop. Well, basically what's going to happen is that you're going to feel kind of shitty for, you know, three to four weeks, because that's a fact. Just like if you quit smoking cigarettes or if you stop drinking coffee, uh, it, it, it will affect you because your, your mind and your body has, has accepted what, what this does to you. But it doesn't make you clinically sick other than uncomfortable you sweat you you get headaches just like with you know coffee or, or cigarettes with other drugs that that are considered to be accepted in this society you have SSRIs you have SRNRIs uh, you know the various you know the various drugs that doctors prescribe to us for depression the, they they describe it for for manic episodes they describe all these these chemicals for our emotional reactions now if we we take them in accordance to what we're prescribed if we quit those we can die now there's 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 a huge discrepancy in there there's this is this is this is so ridiculous that it 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 needs to be spoken about it needs to be talked about um, same thing with, with uh, hallucinogenic drugs. We have, we have, you know, LSD, we have psilocybin, we have uh, DMT, we have, you know, a, a number of components in nature that are part of our, you know, indigenous system. Every mammal on the planet in their brains create DMT. Uh, every, every animal, every mammal on the planet actually creates anandamide, which is, which is like the, one of the so-called cannabinoids, um, we're strangely fearful of what we don't understand, it seems. And I think if we can talk more about what is what, and I, I hope that in, in this blog that we'll, we'll touch up on, on all these subjects and all, you know, the, the various pieces of this to, to point out why there's, there's no such thing as one drug that's worse than another. Um, if you're thirsty, you need to drink water. It's, it's that simple. It really is that simple. Um, but also, you know, the thing is we, we think water is completely unproblematic, but if you drink six liters of water in a matter of minutes, your, your brain will actually swell and you will die. Um, so, so we, we, we need to understand that they're, 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 the fear-based arguments need to go. We need to let go. We need to let go of that and we need to start addressing knowledge. We need to address facts and we need to address what actually happens. What are we actually perceiving for real right now in this life, you know, as we're going through it. Yep. So I guess that was that. Um, 
you know, remember to like us, uh, uh, spread this to your friends if you if if you find any any you know substance in it, or or tell us that we're dorks. Uh, um, take care, and there there'll be more of this, I guess. So, Alakbaba Sirishan Derak. Cause you want